as you go through school, you're like, oh man, I, I feel like <laughs> I could be an engineer, man. Nothing ever crossed my mind besides medicine. I think everyone has that thing in them where you want to help people that are close to you. And for me, the first person that showed me what I wanted to be was my grandmother. She used to call me the doctor. <laughs> when I was little, she was always sick. She had, not like she can't do anything sick, but she always had medications on her. I'd memorize all the, the colors and, and, and the vials. I just knew you take this in the morning, take this uh, around lunchtime, and take this when you're going to bed. And then she started taking me to the doctor with her because I had memorized all her medications and we should get a new one. I had to know what it was and the doctor would tell me the instructions. <laughs> so I started to realize that she needed help in terms of you know, managing her medications, and, but I couldn't give her that help. You know, it makes you really grow up fast. Before I got into pharmacy, I feel like someone already had drawn a path out for me to, you know, take this career and make sure that I finish it. And that what makes me feel like, yeah, I, I belong. The imposter syndrome was really <laughs> hitting me the first year, but I got over that. And then now I feel like, yeah, it's perfect. You know, I belong here. I think a great way to look at it is, do you actually see yourself changing someone's life? I think I would have changed my grandmother's life. If, if she was still alive today, I would have done a lot to help. Those are kind of the things that actually made, made it clear for me. Like I could actually help uh, somebody else, not only my grandmother, somebody else could actually benefit from me becoming a pharmacist. And you know, I see it every day. <laughs>